<sighs> so what? It's been like... God, I don't even know how long. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. So I live. I'm proud of you for trying. I'm alive. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that's crazy. <clears throat> what the fuck? <clears throat> Actually, Dr. Lynn always <clears throat> recorded our, records our sessions. I guess that's me. Case number five three three two two. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. <laughs> Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened. Why can't I turn the page though? What's thrown down a what? <clears throat> Read other people's
It's not been returned to my care. Okay. Obviously fake. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Our case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Five, three, three, two, two. All right. <clears throat> oh my god I can't believe I'm alive. You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say a hospital. 
Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I, I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. <clears throat> Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. <clears throat> My mother is dead. What's that? <clears throat> she was right over there, waiting for me. Gabe? Alex? I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? It was always too hot in this room. There it is. The pain. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. She's just on the other side. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Hi, Mom. So brave. Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Mm -hmm. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? mom drank her throat was always dry
Abe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Hi, Mom. There was no point trying to talk to her. She could barely speak. You almost never cried, <clears throat> even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? strong girl I want you to make me a promise your brother your father they are going to need you you have to be strong Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> so a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave?
Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? What a stupid Gabe, question. What's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. Good morning, rain clouds out my window. And I can see it all. Even if I could, it would all be great. At the picture on my wall, it might be not so bad. Not so bad. It's okay, it's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? It was my job to keep the peace, but no matter what I did, Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I can't believe they were ever this happy. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one two cups water for one cup rice. We never really touched these after Mom died. Almost empty. Almost all. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. The costume. Couldn't afford the costume. I wanted to be a werewolf that, <laughs> that Halloween. The costume. Couldn't afford the costume. Costume. My job was to sort them in order of how close Gosh. you were to a cult. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. Couldn't afford the costume. Full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. 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 Cleaning Couldn't dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could. Gosh. 
Good night. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Question. This was probably the most expensive thing we own. It cost me sane. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to the killer mistress tabs in this book. Weren't even close. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. That's not how it went. I drank too much last night, God. Okay. What if I work again? Even if my might not last a day. And I uh, I love to thank you. You give me the best day of all. Oh, oh, you give me the best day of all. Oh, oh,
Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or, or what about a guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now... I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking touch me! Piece of shit! Dad... <laughs> <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... the woman always justifying. Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. I can't do this, Dad. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have, and now I'm done. Almost, but not yet. You are 12, I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Please. 
play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. How are you holding up, Shu? <laughs> Can't believe how long you've had that thing. <laughs> that thing was my only friend after you left. <laughs> well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? Guess I missed a few days. <laughs> you make it. <laughs> we weren't allowed cool. to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except pretty sure it's locked. Oops. Must be up. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. God. They put me on so many meds. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped, a little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz, fuck you. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kind of think you already know the answer to that question. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! <clears throat> Play my part. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean?
wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something ah. broken, wrong with her. <laughs> Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. <laughs> nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at Dad. Miss Mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Yes! We're not dead yet. <laughs> oh.
got to find a way out of here. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. growing into mines, just like Jed said. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. <laughs> Wait, someone's down here? Someone's scared? Oh my god, imagine Gabe's down here? Alright, boys, getting close. Helldivers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Come on, clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges.
Gotta stop, man. Dad! Fuck you, Jack! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's it called and again? During Black. my time here, yeah. I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. Oh, that's sure. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <laughs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Oh my god, he's gonna play it off. Fuck you. Oh my god. What the hell happened? He's gonna play he was it down off. in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. 
Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Um, hello? Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and... make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? That's his son? No. Oh I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. Do you all trust him? I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. Yes. I believe you too. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. I would like to speak. <laughs> This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, 
Sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes! Yeah. We went through this yesterday. <coughs> Our superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Come on. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Yes. So satisfied. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from... cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up with it. me that a voting member of this council has openly admitted I'm really sorry this is a load of bullshit <laughs> I don't believe this is it. getting ridiculous we're all getting ahead of ourselves no and what's the important matter here? I'm, not I'm sorry I'm Alex. going first thing tomorrow Shh. dad please Come clean. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dad. My own goddamn son! Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. <laughs> and then Gabe, my big brother. He was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. 
I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices, decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye, but you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. We can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. See the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Oh, this is supposed to be a rough decision. <sighs> Forgiveness is rough. Uh, I had to. Damn it! Damn, damn it! Damn
Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming up. Oh. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength, and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. I want to go outside without seeing anyone. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. stuff. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave, too. So, <laughs> so here it goes. It's so hot. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here, too. No. No. Go, you leave me. You ripped your bus ticket. Leave I can get me. another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. For whatever you want. Leave me. not worth it. <laughs> She's hot, but she deserves to leave. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? 
That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. No, we have to go. Did I say no? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Let's go. Life goes on. Damn it. I said no, didn't I? Break. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. <laughs> What's the point of working at the store if you don't have an end game? Her end game is past. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. <laughs> the apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. Rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, 
You just live. No. Oh. Thank you. Woo. I thought that was it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. Oops. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I gotta leave. It's not even a question. Uh. I know what I want. Sure do. I thought there was, this was Death's concert. <clears throat> Hello everyone. I'm Alex J
Oh my god. That's it? No way. No freaking way, dude. Fill your hands with grains of sand. In the rocks, you'll see the clocks. Sometimes the past, the good, the bad. Your life's a life you wish you had. But I could hurt and I could be brave. Nothing can save you, nothing to say. Uh, no way. That was like what? Let's see. I was an hour and a half. That's nothing compared to the other fucking chapters.
挨拶の時に、うわ、いいなぁ。Alex hit the road to play her music. Wow, those are minority? She needs to get the hell out of there. I like to announce Jeff for his actions. Alex forgave. Most people forgave Jeff? Damn, that's so crazy. Claim she learned the meaning of home. Claim she hadn't learned anything. Some members of the castle stood with Alex. Everyone in the castle is with Alex. Damn, I wish. <clears throat> I wish that was the case with me. Alex wanted to help more people in the future. Alex didn't sit on the bed. I didn't know I had a choice. Ryan stood by Alex during the vote. Alex didn't see that. I was ready to forgive Ryan. Alex forgave Ryan for not believing her. Interesting. Charlie sided with Alex during the vote. Now I had really. Eleanor offered to get Alex help. Strange. Pike sided with Alex. Yeah, yeah. Ducky sided with Alex during the vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brian believed Alex during the vote. Hell yeah. Damn, I was the 32%. I wonder how you get the other 68. Brian and Alex don't get together. <laughs> Steph and Alex would be pleasing each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I can't believe that's it. Oh. oh, there's another story. Step story. Oh. Hmm. Should I? Yeah. I think I should.